Hey, it's Eddie K here for the Best Buy blog, and in this video review, we take a look at the Bullet Cat S61, an industrial smartphone that includes a FLIR camera with thermal imaging, a Class 2 laser, and an air quality sensor. The Cat S61 is not your typical phone, and I think when you look at it, that is pretty obvious. So why make a phone, or even why consider a phone that has such a unique form factor, which, I mean, it's really thick, it's heavier, uh, it's clearly rugged and heavy duty, so who ultimately is it for and should you even consider it? At this point, we have noticed phones be fairly similar to each other. I mean, they're getting thinner, they're getting smaller, screens are getting bigger. The Cat S61 doesn't do any of those things. Uh, the screen is 5.2 inches, so it's not a huge display. In fact, the specs, when you look at them, are not flagship specs. And I think that's the point. The point here is not about the speeds and feeds that you would normally see in other phones, it's about what this phone has that the others don't. For me, one of the big things was the FLIR camera. So uh, when it comes to having thermal imaging in a phone, it, it just doesn't happen. I mean, it's not a feature that you would typically see or even need. But if you do, if you happen to be in an industry where something like that could be useful, uh, well, this phone has that and it's built in. It's not some app that's sort of running and doing it. It's, it's actually the hardware that's built in there. So there is a regular camera, but then you have the FLIR camera that offers thermal imaging and, and other different imaging types. So if you wanna see heat, you can use thermal imaging. If you wanna see the coldest spots, you can also have a different view for that too. There is a night vision uh, view as well, but uh, it's, it's, it could be a little better. The laser, now there's a class two laser here. So you, when you're using a laser to measure a distance, then you have to calibrate it repeatedly. I mean, at least I had to when I was trying it out. And they make it clear that it's not super accurate all the time. So a lot of it is an approximation. And frankly, I would even say a guess. Like sometimes when I did a measurement with the laser, it was way off uh, from what it should have been. But other times it was pretty accurate. So there is some inconsistency there, but I think the idea that you have a laser, you know, here at the bottom that can help you sort of gauge what kind of distance you're, you're looking at, kind of interesting. Again, that's another feature that's not gonna be in another phone, but it's there. So, and that's on top of the ruggedness and just how durable the phone is. It, it's almost like you have a phone that's in a, an OtterBox case or, or some heavy duty case like that. The one catch, however, is that despite the fact that there is Gorilla Glass on this phone and despite you have, you know, the water resistance, like, and I'm sorry, there was big water resistance here. I mean, to the point where even pressurized water, uh, it can withstand even that. You have all that, but I would caution that the screen is still going to be a little bit delicate. So while it might be a little tougher than the average phone screen, I don't think it's, it, it's the, to the point where you can drop this screen first on concrete and it's gonna come out unscathed. I just don't think that's gonna happen. So that is something to keep in mind. But generally speaking, if you're in a you're working in an environment that's very dusty and there's a lot of particles in the air, this is a phone that basically can withstand that. Not only that, it can also tell you just how much of those volatile compounds are in the air. There is an air quality sensor built in too. And when you open up that app, it'll give you a score basically of what you're dealing with. And of course, color coded, so green, yellow, and red and just giving you an indication of, okay, here, you know, you're in, a, you're in a space where the air quality is not very good. It doesn't really, it makes some suggestions on things you can do, like, you know, increased ventilation, things like that, but it's not, it's not a super intricate app, but I just think it's kind of cool that essentially a, a function that is in other products alone, standalone, is actually built into this phone as well. So it is kind of neat. The camera is not bad. The regular camera is actually not bad. So if you, again, you need to take photos on the job or something like that, you can do that. It's pretty easy. There are shortcuts also to uh, apps that uh, are construction based or just anything sort of actively based. Um, there, I mean, it's basically a shortcut to Google, to the Google Play Store. So it's, it's not a standalone store, but it kind of feels like it is when you use it. So that is kind of interesting as well. But you know, all in all, I'm just gonna summarize everything here because I think despite the fact that you have good battery life, you've got durability, you've got all those things, this is a niche phone. So you need to have to use this. Like you need this wherever it is you're working or whatever kind of field or trade that you're in. 
where you're concerned about using your regular phone or you want the tools that are built into this one. I mean, you can always put a heavy duty case in a regular phone. So you actually really just need the, key, the tools. It's the tools that ultimately differentiate this device the most from anything else. And for those reasons alone, I think you should consider the device only if you need those things. If you don't, if you feel like you don't, they're not gonna really benefit you in any way, then this isn't a phone for you. This is a phone that, that clearly is catering to a specific subset of consumers. And if you feel like you're among them, well, there aren't too many devices that are like this. And that's my review of the Cat S61 smartphone. For the Best Buy blog, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.